I have a challenge for you this July, which is tomorrow. We're going to start moving 10 minutes a day in the movement patterns that you don't like moving in. Why? Because you don't move in them. And you know the saying, you're going to say it with me, if you don't move it or use it, you lose it. There is a crazy statistic out there that says if you can't get up and down off the ground without using an aid, an assisted aid, then you've got less than 10 years to live. Now, I'm going to say let's revert that statistic in less than a month by doing the movement patterns that we don't do because all it comes down to is just your map in your brain not being there as in you're not doing the movement over and over again so your brain doesn't hold the file for that movement. So whether it is getting up and down off the ground, maybe that's a sticky point for you. Whether it is sitting cross-legged, maybe that's a sticky point for you. Whether it is back pain and you're just not stretching enough and doing spinal movements, whatever it may be, 10 minutes every day in July, you're going to pattern the move in your brain so that you don't lose the move. This is one I want everyone to do. If you feel pretty good about most things, we're going to get up and down off the ground for 10 minutes every day or 10 minutes at least three times a week. So one of the best forms of exercise you can possibly do through mobility, strength and flexibility is exactly that. It's functional movement patterns that you would normally do every day. This, however, is a very important move that we do tend to lose as we get older. So all you're going to do is you're going to get down and up off the ground, laying flat, getting up and finding as many different ways to do that move as possible. You're going to set the timer and you're going to do it for 10 minutes and you're going to find out how many different ways you can get up and down off the ground. It's going to be one of the hardest workouts you've probably done for a while because it means you have to functionally move well. Every joint is controlled and moved when you get up and down on the ground. All of your strength is required because depending on the weight of your body, you have to get that weight up and down off the ground. It is such an important movement pattern to do and obviously to never lose because guess what happens when you age and you fall over and you can't get back up. That's not good. So having the strength to be able to get back up and down is extremely important. And if you practice it, your brain will hold that file. Now, if you think, oh, that's pretty easy, that's not going to be too hard, then you're going to make it harder by adding a weight. You're going to start to get up and down off the ground using a resistance. So now you're moving mobility with strength way harder. How would you go doing that? You add a weight into the game, Whew, I'm already puffing. Can I get up and down off the ground in many different ways using resistance? That is your challenge for July. Doing something that you don't like doing, and if you don't like doing it, that means you're losing the map. We're not gonna lose the map on getting up and down off the ground. Enjoy this challenge. It's a hard one. I do this a lot. I say to myself, I always want to get up and down the ground. So I'm going to be able to do burpees for the rest of my life. I'm never going to lose this map because this is getting up and down off the ground. And I want to do that until I'm 99.